Now, the rivers in our environment are getting polluted, like Gullis River in Kudus. The water looks cloudy and dirty. We have to innovate to fix this. Besides that, the abundant rice production causes the accumulation of strong waste. The accumulated high waste causes the deterioration of environmental quality. The study aimed to reduce calcium levels in Gullis River while reducing throw waste to maintain a good environmental quality. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello all, my name is Anissa Rumaharani with my partners Kaji dan Sinahtanti, Arfor, Islamic State Senior High School to Kudus. And the title of our research is the application of synthesis of cedar from rice straw waste as an apportion of cadmium in Kudus River in Kudus. There is detected in the Kudus River has a contained cadmium about 0.029. So we know if the calcium is the main problem in this research. That's why we make a calcium absorbent with cedar. So what is cedar? Cedar is the new type of core based fluorescent nanoparticle. With the size 10 nanometer, it has a lot of advantage, like being able to glow, low toxicity, and has a strong photoluminescence property. Pastel was chosen as it got because it has active carbon. And its utilization is not optimal, so it's dumbest. The application of citrus as cadmium absorbent using deep coating and filtration. This innovation is so helpful for reducing cadmium levels in polluted river and helping infection on accumulated rice straw waste. And from the situation, we make a problem formulation. First, what are the characteristics of cedar from the rice straw as a cadmium absorbent in Goose River in Goose? Second, how effective the cedar that apply as calcium absorbent in Gullis River in Greece? And further, is this research proof to reduce the calcium levels in Gullis River in Greece? We start preparing some tools and material. We mix 100 ml aquades and 500 mg of rice straw. We do the process of homogenization using ultrasonic bed. And the results are filtered using filter paper. We put the result in the microwave for 30 minutes with 360 watt. After going through the heating process, we get the synthesis of CDOT from the straw waste. We did characterization of CDOT samples using simple UV, UVVs, and PL test. And then coat the filter cloth with CDOT using the deep coating method. Then the filter cloth is dry using the oven. CDOT application in the form of filtration with a filter cloth component that has been coated with CDOT and sealed it. This filtration serves to filter cadmium. We made two filtration. First, it the CDOT cloth with zeolite and filter cloth without CDOT with zeolite. This aims to determine the stenchy that CDOT is the main material that function to filter cadmium. After that, we test the cadmium levels on the filtered cadmium solution using filtration 1 and filtered with filtration 2, and compared the result. After the CETA solution of rice straw was completed, testing was done. The first testing of CETA using the UV lights. The UV lights illuminate CETA that glow up with the greenish ring that appears in the picture. Second. Check your CDOT with UVVs test. The picture shows the spectrum of the UVVs. The curve formed in the picture successfully shows the spectrum absorption CDOT and dominates the visible range of rays, especially in the wavelength range of 283 until 332 nanometers. There are two faint wave peaks on the UVVs test results that cause in line with study of Sari et al. cause by an electronic transition from UV exposure. According to Wingles, the UV wavelength is in the range of 100 until 400 nanometers. From this graph, it can be seen that the peak absorbent sample in the range of 283 until 332 nanometers is still in the UV wavelength range. So, it can be proved that C dots have been successfully synthesized from the waste of rice straw. 
The PL test characterization graph shows a peak at 510.39 nm. This peak corresponds to the peak in PL characterization that has been successfully carried out in previous research with a wave peak around 500 nm. The peak is included in the visible light wave plane range of 480 nm until 560 nm, according to the visible light wave plane range in the green. This is in accordance with the color that the carbon resolution of retro light dance when exposed to a UV light. From this graph, it can be shown that CEDAW was successfully synthesized from straw. From the following table data, sample C, which is expected to have the lowest cadmium content, shows cadmium levels of 9.68 mg per liter, which indicates that the results are not in accident with the initial hypothesis of three samples. However, this cannot directly indicate that the seed from the straw waste cannot be used as a cadmium absorbent, because there are several possible causes for the result of the cadmium solution filtered with zeolite and seed out of fresh straw has the highest cadmium levels including First, the process of mixing cadmium powder and water is imperfect, so that the solution form is not homogeneous and has different molarities. Second, testing samples of cadmium solution which is only carried out once for each sample. And third, sampling and testing of samples are not at the same time, or there is too long a period of time between sampling and testing. Several factors of possible errors in this research can be used as an evaluation for further research.